Today I'll be sharing with you the tips when using VBand invoice meter. Tips number one, you need to make sure both outgoing PC and incoming PC to have this VBand turn on then you can make sure both PC able to send and receive audio. Tips number two, note each PC, whether outgoing PC or incoming PC, the IP address is here. So this is very crucial. Outgoing PC to streaming PC. Say for example, if you want to have multiple PC, uh, let's say two PC sending to one PC or one PC sending to multiple PC. So this IP address is very, very important. Tips number three, have a basic understanding of the source here. When you left click, you can see the bus A1 to A5, B1 to B3. It's actually represent in the master session here, A1 to A5, B1 to B3. Tips number four, start with the outgoing stream here. First, locate your bus system. For my, for my session, I put it as a B1 here, will be my desktop audio the b2 will be microphone so as you see when i'm talking um, the decibel meter is up and down here so it indicates that i'm talking to this bar system you can refer to my previous video i will share to you how to set up the voice meter for gaming and the streaming pc inclusive the vvan setup so after you identify the source here type in your stream name so for example, I have the master MG desktop will be my gaming PC, the stream name here, and the mic will be stand for microphone. The IP address here sending to will be my receiving PC, for example, my streaming PC. Tips number five, set up the incoming stream. On my streaming PC, I have a stream name already type as alerts. So where I receive all the notification from my streaming PC where is the subscription, follower. So after you already named the streaming PC on the on the outgoing PC, what you can see here you can right click. So there is already have an selection for you to click on. So when you just click, so they'll auto fill up all the IP address and alerts here. So we receive the incoming stream audio. So we need to assign to the destination. If you left click, you will see input 1 to 5 and virtual input 1 to 3. So is actually represent from here. If I expand it out, you will see 1 to 5 will be represent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the physical input. The virtual input will be the virtual input represent by this three column. So when you have both PC turned on, and the VBAN activated. How do you know if you set up correctly? Once you turn on, you can left click to toggle on and off. Once you turn on and you see this green LED here, means the audio is able to send out and receive from both PC. So on this column, you will see the errors here. So that is represented by five empty dots here. First one represents the overload, meaning that we receive too much packets or audio stream coming too fast. The second dot represents corrupt, we receive a corrupted packet. Number three represents disorder, we receive all the packets. Number four, missing, we misses packet or packet loss. Number five, we overrun, we receive not enough packet or the order stream came in too slow. Next, if you have this error, so what you need to do or play with will be the network quality. You can set it as optimal. Let the system do the auto setting for you. Below optimal, you have fast and very slow. Fast means that audio transport without delay or errors. Should your system or the network is too busy, you can adjust it to medium or slow, but the consequences will be the audio packet will be much more delay or loss more often than you choosing the, f the fast mode. So once you've done the VBAN setup for both PC, left click the save config and type in the, uh, the save file that based on your preference. 
So for me, I just simply type VBand desktop. Okay, where I last check will be the 29th of October. Yeah, why you want to do so? Because in case the Windows or the system mess up with all the settings, you can just simply left click and load your config without having you to go through to checking all the setup again. So that's all for my today video. Should you find this video helpful, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. It will be much helpful. If you have any question about voice meter, I'm happy to help you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.